The next view I'm going to take you through is the perisplenic or left upper quadrant view. This view tends to be a little bit more difficult because the spleen is smaller and doesn't provide as large an acoustic window. We're going to start again, the patient's going to be supine. This is the probe marker right here. I'm going to go really posterior. My hand is going to touch the gurney. And you can go about four finger breaths just above the costal margin. You can, you can identify the kidney. That's going to be a pretty identifiable organ, characteristic bean shape, and we can see it here on the screen. And just above it, we're going to see the spleen. We're going to see to the far left of the, the screen as well, we see the diaphragm. And once you're in this location, you want to carefully pan through the inferior part of the spleen and then jump over that rib and see the superior part of the spleen because fluid often collects just above the spleen and below the diaphragm. Once you identify a good view in the left upper quadrant, you want to do a sweep through that area looking for free fluid. Again, you see the kidney, you see the spleen, find the interface between, look for fluid between those two organs, and then particularly scan above that spleen, scanning all the way through the organ, looking for free fluid above the spleen and below the diaphragm. And again, when you're scanning through this area, you want to carefully look above the diaphragm for evidence of hemothorax. When you're scanning in this view, also make sure you scan the full kidney. And here we see the superior pole to the left of the screen and the inferior pole. You want to make sure you get that full kidney in view when you examine the left upper quadrant.